In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Magic 360 in Zencart. You can see the product image current looks flat on my page. There's an option to view a larger image, but it's a pop-up and to me it looks uninspiring. So I want to change that from this to this. Look how impressive my image now looks, with a 360 spin, so customers can see every angle of the product. Add to that the magnify effect option, and the product looks amazing. But that's not all. Magic 360 allows you to see the 360 spin in a full screen option. It's the ultimate zoom tool for selling products. To get this effect, we need to go to the Magic Toolbox website. If you go to the Magic 360 product page, you'll see the Zencart icon on the right hand side, which will take you to the Magic 360 for Zencart page. Click the download button and save the zip file to your computer. Next, extract all the files and the Magic360 folder is what we'll upload to our server. I'm going to use FileZilla for this. Find the Magic360 folder on your computer and upload it to the Zencart directory on your server. This will take a few minutes so pause the video here and start again once your folder is uploaded. My files have now finished uploading and you can see the Magic360 folder is showing here. Next we're going to install Magic360. To do this enter your Zencart website URL and after it enter Magic360. You'll be taken to this page and all you have to do is click install. By default Magic360 is enabled. To change this go to your Zencart admin click configuration and then Magic360. You can see the option Enable Zen Magic360 is set to true. If you want to change this click edit and change the setting to false. The setting for number of images on x-axis defaults to 36. This is the number of images you'll use to create the 360 degree spin on your product. We recommend you use either 18 or 36 images to create your spin. If you have 18 images for each product, you'll need to make the change here. I'm using 36 images, so I'll leave this as it is. The product ID's default is set to all, which can stay the same. Or you can change this by entering each product ID that will use Magic360. It's entirely up to you. Next, I'm going to add the images to my product. I'm going to use a smaller image called shoe.jpg, which I'll add last via the product page, and this image will display on the product results page. The rest of the images are my 36 spin images. Notice how they all begin with the word shoe. This is so all my images will be linked to the same product. The spin images have been numbered 1 to 36. This is the sequence I want my images to appear in the 360 degree spin. And lastly, I've labelled each image large. You don't have to use this label, it's just for me so at a quick glance I can see I'm using the large versions. By using large images you'll have great magnify and full screen effects, plus a smaller resized image on your product page. If I change the view you can see what my images look like. The first image is the image I'll be uploading via the product page. You can see the remaining 36 images move ever so slightly in each image and this is what will create my 360 degree spin which I'll FTP to the DVD folder on my server. To do this I'll use FileZilla again. On the left you can see my computer and the 36 spin images I want to use. And on the right is the Zencart server. I want to put the large images into a folder called DVD, which you'll find in the Images folder. I'll just reselect my 36 images on the left and drag them over into the DVD folder. This will take a minute, so pause the video here and start again once your images have uploaded. Now that's finished, you can see all my large images are now uploaded to the Images DVD folder. The last image we need to upload is on the product page, which you can get to via Catalog, Categories Products. Browse for the smaller image called shoe.jpg, 
and change the directory to DVD in the drop down menu. I don't want to overwrite any existing images so I'll select no here. Once that's done click preview and update. Now go to the product results page and refresh. You can see the image we've just uploaded via the product page is displaying here on the results page. If we click through and go to the product page you can see Magic 360 is working. The 36 large images we FTP to the DVD folder on the server control the 360 degree spin. The magnify option and the spin in the full screen effect. Now that Magic 360 is installed let's make a couple of changes. First I'm going to change the magnify option to a circle then I'll change the text which appears under the image. To do this go to the Magic 360 settings page via configuration Magic 360. Change the shape of magnifying glass option from inner to circle and click update to save your changes. Further down the list you can see the show message under image option is set to yes. If you didn't want any text to appear then you would change this to no. I do so I'm going to select the message under images option and change the text I want here. Again remember to save your changes. If we go back to the website and refresh you can see the magnify effect is now a circle and the text has changed under the image. To see what looks great on your Zencart website try all the options on the settings page. At the top of each page on our website there's a contact us link so if you have any questions about Magic 360 or any of our other tools just get in touch. If we're not online when you send your message through we'll get back to you the very next day. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.